Hey, Shalom. See what you got is our Lord is on his way. Giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, the Bakarium, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, Salakia. If you hear a slur in my voice, it's because I got a, a, a flipper in. A flipper is um, when they're replacing your tooth. You know, you go through like a prosthetic stage where you got to put this. Um, they create like a like a like a, um, a design of your palate and your makeshift tooth and put it in until your bone structure is developed. And then they go in for the final prosthese piece of your tooth. That can take about four to six months. So that's what I have in right now. So I'm very uncomfortable. My palate is very uncomfortable. My gums are uncomfortable. There's a lot of words that's hard to pronounce at this time. It's going to be like this for a few months, man. We don't know what the Lord is going to do, but it is what it is. So Salakia for my slurs. Um, this is prepared homestead. We watching it. You know, you got the uh, the strongest uh, hurricane that's about to hit the East Coast next week. You know, this hurricane is unheard of. The East Coast has never faced anything like this. It's possible. Well, I'm at. I'm in New Jersey, so it's going to come up here. We're going to get some of this force next week. So we see the Lord doing his work in the earth for all these other camps you playing games you know the two-thirds out here they just living their life the lord is about to turn this thing up and we're gonna we're gonna get into this video here right but i'm gonna get this scripture we're gonna get this this is isaiah isaiah i think it's is it 26 and 9 or 29 and 6 let's let's find out Let's get this real quick because uh, the world is not ready for what the Lord about to do, man. Okay, this is Isaiah 29, verse 6. Thou or you shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest, which are tropical storms. And the flame of devouring fires, which we just saw down there, was that Maui, you know, Hawaii, whether it was uh, through their do gun, right, or some type of lightning from the lasers on the chariots. The Lord is lighting this place up with all kind of natural, what they call natural disasters, which are, are, are God like phenomenons. You know, you have something called, um, um, what is it called? God accident insurance that you can put on your home because there are certain acts of God that the insurance will, will prepare you for showing that the elites know that what happens with the earth is actually in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And if you're smart enough, they'll put that in your insurance. But you got a lot of these events that's about to take place alongside of the MOTB, World War III, Egyptian against Egyptian, Jacob's Trouble. You got a lot of this um, natural, that they call natural disasters, but it's ultimately the finger, the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because when you go to Matthews here, hold on, it's raining right now. It's about to throw down, so I'm going to uh, try to make this quick. Get my black ass in the house. We can go to Matthews, along with the end of the little world. It speaks about the natural disasters, man. This is Matthews uh, 24, verse 3, verse, no, 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. 
For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, which we're seeing, and pestilence, the diseases. And when you go into this word in Greek, the pestilence, it goes into pandemic. And earthquakes, you see that? That's the earthquake and, and, and these hurricanes are included in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. You understand? So you're going to have events like this. We're about to uh, witness right here on the East Coast now. And and might I add, how about Shimi Abasha is taking care of the West Coast? Something serious, man. The West Coast is going through it. Now the Lord about to bring this pain over here to the East Coast. Let's get some of this. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, the weather here is beautiful, but there are some places that it's not looking so good. And other places, the earth is shaking and rattling. Um, just today, uh, New Zealand registered a 7.2 earthquake um, down there. And then uh, California registered a 5.0 earthquake. And there was also about two weeks ago, week and a half or so ago, a swarm of very small earthquakes along the New Madrid fault line. I mean, they weren't very big. Most, you know, no one would have felt them, you know, 1.1s, 1.5, 2.0s, but still a lot of activity there. Uh, makes you wonder if they're kind of messing with the planet or is this all natural? Also, there is a huge hurricane, hurricane, hurricane um, headed towards the east coast of the United States. It's possible that this could be the largest hurricane to ever hit the east coast. And this is pretty serious. And although we talk about preparedness from a total global collapse perspective often on this channel, Preparedness is also just getting ready for bad things happening in your life. And if you live along the East Coast, anywhere that this could hit, and it could still change, but I, I mean, if you just live on the, around the East Coast, you should probably start taking precautions because if this thing hits with the force that they're saying it could, it could be pretty nasty. There's even some predictions showing that one or two other disturbances out there in the Atlantic may merge with this one somehow and make it even bigger. Uh, but we're talking potential winds of 180 to 200 miles an hour. Woo! Very few structures are built to withstand that level of wind speed unless they're specifically Did built you hear uh, to handle what he hurricane. Said? Wind speeds of 200 miles per hour is about to hit the East Coast. So you're all about to turn it up. Yeah, you're going to see floods over here. It won't be no more watching the news seeing what's happening in Texas, Florida. Oh no, the Lord bringing it to the 50 states, man, Great Babylon. And I understand, you know, we, we sit back in the spirit. See, the Lord throws the elite's plans off, man, with these storms and these hurricanes and these tornadoes. Because they can have something planned and the Lord needs to slow them down. And he'll bring in these storms, man. That will overthrow their buildings, slow their plans down so the prophecy can take place. Because you got to remember, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy must happen, man. And the Lord will do this. It's just yeah, a good quality site built houses uh, rarely are built to withstand over about 160 mile an hour winds, roughly. Uh, and that's pushing it. And a lot of times it's 120 to 140 mile an hour wind. So if we're talking 200 mile an hour wind potential, especially gusts, uh, maybe even higher than that, that is going to be very devastating. Now, I know the first thing on a lot of your minds is, is that I'm sure this is all being controlled and manipulated by the, the people controlling and manipulating the weather. <sighs> well, I can't prove that but I'd say that there's probably a decent chance of that, even though they may not be actually causing this to happen. A lot of times what they're doing is simply moving moisture and heat around uh, the planet to try to 
congregated into one area and not in another area because of, of all of their ionization of the atmosphere and everything. So there's that, that's the more simpler form. Uh, but then of course there is uh, direct energy and, and waves and harp and stuff like that that can, you know, cause things that's like that this. That's that dual weapon, you know, the dual weapon, direct energy weapon that they say they use down there in Hawaii. You know, down there in Maui, Hawaii. You know. So you can't give everything to E. Because whether the Lord put it in Esau's mind to make a move, it still go back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Everything goes back to the Lord. Proverbs 20 and 24. Matter of fact, let's get that. No, matter of fact, let's get, uh, let's get... Proverbs. Let's get the Proverbs, man. Man. Let's get Proverbs. Uh, 21 and 1. Let's get that. This is Proverbs. 21 and 1. The king's heart, which is any ruler, your heart represents your mind. The Hebrew word for heart is lob. What goes into the mind of the spirit. So the king's mind is in the hand of Yahweh's. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So that's for all you conspiracy theorists. What about harp? Don't be, hey, the Lord is controlling their minds. Even if it is harp or whatever weather machine they're using. The Lord is behind that. He gave them the technology to develop it, man. Those are all weapons and swords of Yahweh Shibi Shah. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but Yahweh pondereth his heart. Uh NLT. The king's heart or mind is like a stream of water directed by Yahweh. See? So the Lord directs everybody, especially the guys at the top. He guides it whithersoever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but Yahweh examines their hearts. So, whether you want to blame it on, okay, it could be them using their machines. It ultimately still go back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Straight up. Things. Um, the bottom line is, and honestly, it doesn't matter if it's completely natural or not. It's happening, and you need to be getting ready for it. And who knows how this is going to play out. I mean, is this just going to be another big disaster um is this going to be a big disaster that they use to usher in some more climate restrictions on us who knows but get ready for that but there's something else going on that has nothing whatsoever to do with the weather because i like to just randomly segue yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's gonna others. go in, he gonna go into it you know michelle obama may be running for president that's that's gonna be the new topic real soon <laughs> but we want to get into this right here you know because i'm gonna show you my um my uh my earthquake app so for y'all in disbelief of what's going on in the earth man yo this is this is this is um unprecedented you never heard something like this going on and now that we got that apps to take control and monitor this stuff we looking at the end of the world unfold right before our face, which strengthens our faith that we are at the end. Remember, the Lord said he was going to send these earthquakes, man. The earth will be quaking or rocking or breaking upon the arrival of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh our Lord. So look at the numbers. This is the, um, the earthquake scale. You see over here on your right. And these are the locations on your left. Right? All the city states, the countries that they're happening in. Look at it. Look at this. Five point one. 
5.2. This is from September 3rd, starting from last week. 5 5.3, 5.0, 5.5, 5.9, 5.1. Look at the little, I hope you can see the locations, man, of where this is happening. 5.8. Look, south of Fuji Islands, they always getting hit. It's just turning up even more. 5.0, 5.2, 5.8. It's going to get greater. 5.2. Look at, look, at, look at the numbers. Look at look at Chile, 6.3, right? This was on September 6th, at, and the Lord hitting them hard in the middle of the day. That's, that's at 7.47 p.m. They get a 6.3 earthquake. Come on, man, 6.2, right? This is the Pacific of uh, the uh, Antarctic Ridge. 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5 5.1, 6.2. Look at this here. 6.5. That look like it could be even Japan or China. Look at that, man. 6.9. Look at that. 5.5, 5.7. Look, and it goes on. It goes on. And look at the dates, man. Is not all Lord speaking at this time? So we're all, and this was this was Cali right here. So with all the other prophecies, got you got to keep your eyes on the weather, man. The Lord can have you drown at a time like this, man. This is some serious stuff. Six point eight, you know. And this is just between today and September what? Third? So things are going on, man. This is an earthquake app. Download the app, man. You know, stay on point. Because this is part of the end time prophecies. All Lord about to turn up and show out. Hey, better hope you uh, call Lord Yah Bashim Al Shah, Lord willing, be covered by the, the blood of the Lamb. Because a lot of people are going to get caught out there just with the weather alone. We're going to end it on this scripture here. This is uh, Nehem. Nehem 3. Actually, we're going to go to Nehem 1. 1 verse 3. Okay. They am one and three. Yahweh of the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit, meaning let go the wicked. Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. <laughs> he rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry and drieth up all the rivers. Bashan languishes, and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languish. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all the world therein. The Lord about to make some statements, man. That's how we know we at the end. Our Lord Yahweh Shah is about to reign supreme by casting down all the imaginations to the submission of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, mainly under his son, Yahweh Shah. All kingdoms will be given to Yahweh Shah real soon. That's why we praise the names. Hold to the names, Akim Akwa. Hold to the name of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah because that's only going to be left real soon standing giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakaha Kodash double honor to the elders of the great millstone who told me this truth Shalom